Hello folks, Foxlover back again and um, you're seeing me in a new game scenario because I thought I've not often done how to's um, I'm not very good at teaching I don't think but um, I'm going to give it a try for one simple reason um, when I read the forums I get slightly fed up with some of the frigging comments that people are making about this is game breaking, this doesn't work, this is a bug when half of the time it isn't um, I have now got 1,000, you know, 1,860 hours in the game, so I think I know roughly what I'm talking about, and it just pisses me off when I see all these stupid comments that people make, and I thought, well, why not do one and show people what actually can happen in the game. I have played that amount of hours, and I have so many starts. Yes, there's been bugs, and the game is not 100%. I quite agree with that, but there are absolutely 110% no game breaking bugs in this game as far as I'm concerned um, so I thought well I might as well you know show what I think is um, possible in this game and hopefully help somebody out now to start the game you've got four choices if you've never played X games before it's a bit confusing which one to take the young gun sounds cool um, the dedicated warrior sounds cool and the untested explorer sounds cool the unworthy entrepreneur I think most people miss out if you've never played the game before I would suggest playing with the unworthy entrepreneur for the simple reason the start gives you a Kestrel ship which is crap anyway the two um, worst ships in the starter ships in the game is the young gun and the unworthy explorer because they give you the Kestrel which is a crap player ship um, but I'm choosing that for one simple reason on the Unworthy Entrepreneur because within that start scenario you get the Kestrel but you also get a Vulture um, Trader and a Station now the Station is useless to you at this time at this point in the game when you start because you don't have the money and the resources to enable to start the Station up but with the Vulture as a freebie ship once you've found a, a wharf or a shipyard in the game, you can sell it. And you also start with 200k, which is a, a nice lump. So once you've sold the, the vulture and got the 200k and start the first mission off, which is the, there's a load of spoilers here, guys, um, the boron one, which gives you your PHQ, you will then have about 500,000, I think, roughly, if I remember rightly, credits. Now the first thing you need to do is get rid of that stupid Kestrel and you use that Kestrel as your sacrificial lamb for the PHQ. So that's the start I'm going to start on this how-to with the unworthy entrepreneur. The best starting ships are the Dedicating Warrior and the Untested Explorer because you get a um, Perseus which is a two guns and the Untested Explorer gets the, the Discoverer which has two guns. Turn the music off so you can hear me chat. Um, so I'll start this spiel off. I'm um, sorry to start the spiel like this, but I needed to let you know what I'm doing and what I think is the best start for somebody just coming in is the unworthy entrepreneur because of what you get in the beginning. If you want to test the other, the other it's fine, um, but you won't have such a well, it's not easy, but you won't have an easier start than the un unworthy entrepreneur because of the assets that you get given in the game. So let's start it off. And away the little Talardi goes. So yeah, he's Talardi. <coughs> I'll pause it when it comes into the game save or the game load. I just want to show the introduction. That's so cool. So hopefully someone will find this useful. Um, and I'll enjoy doing it, I think. But um, I'm not a very good teacher. But I'll do my best. 
and if there's something that you think I'm doing wrong then please let me know and um, I'll try and correct it anyway I'll pause for now while it's loading in so I'll be back in a mo. okay back now this is where you get plonked down in this scenario when you first start the game in front of your illustrious Kestrel crappy ship for a player the uh, NPC seem to like it but um, you're on your own station which is this one here there is twin Resirius Sunrise 1 which sells sunrise flowers right now you can just ignore this station there's no way you can um, sort it out now you don't have the funds the resources or anything yet to do it with but in your property if you live property owned you've got the Kestrel and you've got a Vulture Vanguard the first thing to do with this Vulture is sell it once you found a um, it's at the moment yeah you could use it to um, do some trading once you've um, discovered some of the sectors but I always sell it to get the extra money um, when I've done this scenario um, and just keep the Kestrel for the time being but you want that money so you can change the Kestrel as soon as possible or upgrade its guns one or the other depending on how much you get now the first thing you need to do is try and open up this sector um, to get to all the others we want to be able to um, at the moment you see you get nothing but the first thing we also want to do is start up the Bozo quest which is um, a little boron fella now this ship the Kestrel against the um, Xenon and the Cac with this gun on it you're gonna die simple as that you will die very quickly um, because the gun is absolutely useless as it hardly does any damage um, you can do it it is possible to kill them but generally you will probably say goodbye. Best round. Okay. Vanguard. And the other thing is you get a decent pilot. Look, it's got three stars in morale, two stars in piloting. So we need to keep our Mr. Tertasobus, Resirius Hanirasis, the fourth. <laughs> I love their naming. I really do. And that's ours. That's our little vulture there. But right now we can ignore all this for the time being. So we get into our ship. Greetings. And... Uh, and dock and I saw a cack on there oh, or I saw a red on the radar there we need to be careful with him oh, this is a nice nice light sector I like this and the bonus we've got a station for free and this casserole is a bit slow as well is it yeah it's a bit slowish oh okay um, what we need to do you need to use your scan now to scan the station your local scanner I don't I use my hotel so I don't know what you'd have it on your keyboard but the controls I'm not going to go into you can work that out um, looking at the control system I'm not going to go through all of those options with you um, I'm looking for a sparkling like a um, firework display thing on here it might be on our own station it might not I'm not sure if we ever find it on this one because I honestly can't remember it's a long time since I've done this scenario but when we see that little sparkling <coughs> thing <coughs> that's Mr. Bozo the first one you come to or it should be I don't think we've got one on here we need to open up this sector so let's try and find oh, oh no that's just a <coughs> a data leak so let's grab it see what it tells us it's our own station so we're not going to get much from it just do it anyway um no i don't see one anywhere we can also hear that crackling noise when there's one nearby i don't want to miss it in case there's one here maybe on that station there over there on the right <coughs> there may be one we'll have a look in a sec no it doesn't look like it now that's the first thing I would suggest to do is look for the um, sparkling thing on the station first to try and get that quest started up. Okay, nothing there. Right, where was that? No, we don't want to go to the. <coughs> well, we could. It might be on the trading station. It might not. It might not. I don't know. Let's go over and have a look. Taladi Trading Station. I like the look of the Kestrel. The Kestrel is a really nice looking ship. But as a player ship, it's totally useless. 
the gun the one gun on it is you know even if we upgrade it to a mark two yeah reasonable but you have to do a lot of um, flying around to be able to kill off anything in a reasonable amount of time let's go and have a look over here I've never found one well I've never actually looked to be quite honest on a um, trading station it's probably easier to go on the other one because the trading station is too big oh well that'll give us some rep Mass we'll get transporter some, get some F. rep stop please see how many shots it takes to kill this now this is normally a one shot kill but it's good to get Container. them if you can mix through we'll get rep with that we'll get some rep up it'll give us reputation with the uh, Taladi Where's the other station gone? It was over here, wasn't it? I want to go to the smaller station there. It's over there somewhere. There we go. Let's go over there. Going to travel mode quick. <coughs> uh, so it's, it's good to try and get this um, quest started off. Because he'll give you some money. Which will help with getting your next ship. Or upgrading the one you've currently got. Let's see what we've got here. There we go. And we got some credits. So you got 200,500 200, credits, which is cool. <clears throat> Taladi defense platform. We could find one on here, let's hope. I've generally normally found it on the first station you come to, but as this is going to be a how to, I bet it won't happen. <coughs> oh there, look, see? There you go, a little, little sparkly there. Now hopefully that will be the boron. Short range transporter. Let's grab C. that if you can. You've got to be very careful when it's in the load, loading dock here because you can end up hitting the dock. So here you've got to be careful. So I always wait if they're going to come out. He's going to come out. So let him come out first and then do the biz. Oh! I'll stay up. Deserve to die. Yeah, you do. Container. Oh, extended fuel container. Good. You want to pick all this lot up. Hopefully, um, we can find the SATA bits and pieces we need. We need three bits of um, loot to make us the SATA work. And sometimes you get it late in game. Sometimes you can get it early. We'll see how it goes. Like, fly right up to it until it starts. You can hear the chat. There we go. Then press F. Please be the bozo. Ah, yeah, got him. It. That's I it, we've got him now. I was beginning to think my messages were being intercepted by those split fellows. I'm a little disappointed that it was this easy. I don't suppose they sent you, did they? Oh, that would be quite devious. I love his voice. Who are they? Hmm. What should I call them? I suppose captors is quite apt. Employers? They let me work on my own projects some days, you see. Do you need help? Ah, yes. You see, I'm in a spot of bother. I'm in the middle of some important scientific research, which I'm unable to pursue personally from my current location. I'm looking for an assistant to aid me. What do you need? I'll send the task to your ship computer. This is rather exciting. <laughs> okay, we accept that. He's going to tell us to dock at the station. And we've got to pick up that um, interface unit. Oh, and then we got paid another 500. So we made some money already. So you've got to shoot all those little readies. Let's land at the station. We don't have a computer yet, a docking computer. So you've got to land yourself. Not that hard, actually. Um, you've got to line it all up. We should get a line up in a minute. Where are docking we? granted. There we go. Just make sure your horizontal line is straight. And a little triangle will come up in a second. We need to go down. There we go. That's it. Get that on the green and go left. That should go green in a second. Go down. Back a bit. Oh, so that the line is touching. Now we need to go down. And there you go. We're, we're docked. Successfully docked. And up you get. And we've got to pick up that interface Let's unit. Go. Oh, out that way. Vestrel, Vanguard. Oh. oh, which door? Oh, that one. 
it's always a lifter on this one. Sometimes it's right where you are, sometimes it's on the other side of the station. So we're lucky today, we've got it here. So you just pick it up and then go back Very to the good. ship. I see you have found the device. This will allow me to monitor your activity and perform experiments remotely. Please keep it safe. Oh my, it seems your pulse is elevated. You must be very excited to take part in this expedition. I'm glad. So, shall we begin? I will attempt to direct you in the best way possible. Please be patient with me. Undock. I like this sector. It'll be come hours later. Later. I don't expect you've spoken with too many Boron before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Bozo, Bozo Ta, Ta. and it is a pleasure. I do wish it were in person, but my current situation is quite precarious. You must be quite curious on what a lonely old Boron is trying to achieve. There are still so many mysteries and unanswered questions. Are spaceflies sentient? Where are the lost Boron systems? Is faster than light telepathy possible? It is our task to push the physics of this universe to the breaking point and see if it answers any of those questions. My current employers only seem happy when my research results in novel weapon modifications. Very curious people, those split. I do hope they move me to a new tank soon. My tentacles <laughs> grow weak. Right to the scientific area, that's it. Now, you have in your inventory... I do wonder how my homework is faring. It has been such a long time since we have had news of it. As I was saying, in your inventory you'll have five satellites, five uh, nav beacons and five resource probes. Keep them, don't use them yet. We need to use the um, satellites within this quest mission, so you need to keep hold of them until you need to use them. Now it's going to send us to an area where there's an anomaly, which is probably where we're going now, so let's fast travel there. We need to try and discover as many sectors as we can to start with so we can find stations, especially the wharf. Now the, the nearest wharf to where we are now is in um, Profit Center Alpha, which is the, um, what do you call it, the, the Ministry of Finance uh, sector. Let's hope that they can sell ships. That's the problem when you start the shirt game, which people are saying are bugs, and they are not bugs. You have to start the system rolling. Sometimes you can start, there will be one wharf, maybe two or three wharfs that you can buy ships from, or you can't buy any anywhere. Now we're going to get attacked here. There it is. If reports are to be believed, these anomalies are tears. Which may lead to other areas of we'll space, it. much like the jump gates. I We're suggest you have the location of the anomaly on your map. So, no. how adventurous mm. do you feel today? Thanks to my research, I do have a fair idea of where you may end up. God is of talking. Of course, the quickest way to confirm my theory is to put it into practice. Okay, Mr. Bozo, will do. <clears throat> now you'll see in a minute, I'm probably going to have to deal with this guy. Um, but this gun, what's the damage it doesn't do? Who is he firing at? Maybe a... Oh, is that a... Cac is... Oh, Vanguard. No. Oh, my M. Might, might be an idea while he's concentrating on him to have a go at him, but you'll see the damage that it doesn't do in a second. Let me do a save first, just in case. So I'm going to save it in a new slot, so save it there, and let's name it how to. I'm hoping somebody finds this um, helpful and interesting. Um, I just felt like a change from doing my Let's Play. Um, I've been playing a lot of hours on that one, so I needed a break from it for a little while. So I might have thought, like I said, seeing all those comments uh, a lot of the times that people do really not know what they're friggin' talking about. 
I thought, well, I might as well try it myself. And hopefully, you know, get some things corrected. But obviously, I mean, I, <coughs> I don't know any, every, everything in the game, even with the hours that I played. There's so much you can learn in this game over time. So, let's hope it does some good. Anyway, let's see what we go. You watch here. I'll wipe you out. Looks like you aren't going, going to wipe him out, dear. He's wiping you out. And that's the trouble. You've got to get within three kilometers with this gun. And it's so weak. I don't want to use my boost to get my shield down. Uh oh, she's going to go. The thing is, is to try, try and get behind the ship so these guns can't get on you. And we're a little bit slower than him as well. Once we hit, start hitting him, he'll, he'll turn on us. And we've got to try and strafe away from his fire. Oh, she's gone. See, look, hardly any damage. We're hardly damaging him. I am hitting him. But he's going down reasonably slowly. Oh, I'm missing there. We got a... No, he's not turning on us yet. Cool. Oh, I'm not hitting him now. Which way? Wait. If he gets his sights on this little castle, it's... Um, can do a lot of damage. Don't know why he's not shooting at us yet. Come on, get on him. You see, I try this and try and keep doing this because they may drop the stuff of the satyrs. Oh, someone else joined in. Cool. I like the sound. I always uh, discover. I like I the sound of that gun. Distract you from your business, but do uh. you intend to investigate that anomaly further? Y yes, I do. <laughs> The science we will achieve. <laughs> it's so cool. No, he didn't drop anything. What a pain. But we might get some rep from that and some money. I don't know. Albeit we haven't got a police license yet. Right, go on. On you get. Right, this will be the anomaly, hopefully. Let's do the scan, just for sure. Um, yeah, that's the anomaly. And what we need to do is drop a satellite to it. And then, then go through it, and it will take us to Grand Exchange. Oh, that will put us closer, I think, to... Um, yeah, where are we? Grand Exchange, 18 billion. No, 18 billion is where the Min Wharf is, I just remembered. Okay, cool. Now, right now, drop one satellite. That's it, and then go through. to anomaly, go on. Let's go through it. We have to boot through it. Entering system, grand exchange. And then immediately drop another satellite. Can you hear me? It took a moment to realign the frequency. It is just as I thought. You have made it through the anomaly and emerged in a distant region. This is cool. Your location is actually <coughs> of great interest to me. Over the years, I have managed to pull sensor logs from passing ships to help further my work. I highlighted this as a prime location for my research, should I ever get the chance. See the anomaly there? Where is While the previous like anomaly is interesting, my findings point to something else here, which I expect will lead to a groundbreaking discovery Allow me to guide you to a particular area. Okay, let's go over there. Point of interest. The thing with this um, quest line at the start is you can get to the point where he says he'll give you some more money. And then you can carry on doing your thing to make some money. You don't need to uh, uh, finish the quest off straight away. But it is good to try and get it as soon as possible. But first, there is a way of making some money. And we'll go through that shortly. Right, let's get there. 13 kilometers. 
I think they'll ask us to put down another satellite. Now that satellite I put down when we came out of the anomaly was just to mark where the anomaly is. It's going to, I think, ask us to put down another one, I think. Or a beacon. Let's have a look. We'll see. Now also it's good once you can is to get uh, satellites as many as you can afford as soon as you can to mark up I'm all the stations. Evaluating what equipment we will need to make the most of this location. Space here is wounded with a scar in his fabric which seems to have healed multiple times. There is no record of any abnormal activity at these sites. To everyone else, this is simply an empty area of space. In my search for signals from long lost Boron, I have detected multiple scars in space which continue to spew a multitude of particles and radiation. In a bustling sector such as this, it would only be seen as background noise. However, some of the noise seems to have artificial form. We are going to tear this scar wide open and peer inside. Of course, the universe is a fickle thing. One miscalculation and we may well destroy the whole system. Ha! Such stakes make this all the more exciting. <laughs> Before we get started, allow me to reimburse you for your help so far. Oh, he's going to give us 25k. Don't mind me using their credit account to help <laughs> fund our venture. He's stealing their money. The money's coming in slowly. Now, the experiment. You will first need to place a satellite around this area in order for us to better understand its nature and how best to provoke the anomaly. I suggest you also deploy a resource probe so that we can see how the anomaly has affected the local environment. You should be able to acquire these deployable items from stations which offer upgrades. I know of such a station near your location. I will add the information to your map. Okay, he wants us to drop a satellite here now. But before you do that, the satellite, if you did what I did, dropped outside the anomaly, is to name this satellite. The placement must be precise. Okay, Bozo, just give us a second, please. Um, so what I do, I need to name that satellite so I know what it's, what it's there for. So I name it the anomaly. So now I know that in that area is where the anomaly is. Because you could get confused when we do the quest later on, which um, satellite area you need to send it to. So we now drop another satellite here. Good work. I'm receiving a much clearer signal from the tear. Cool. Almost immediately, I can see that there are far more gravimetric shears here compared to any other anomaly ever documented. That indicates mass. But of what? This shows some similarities with a jump gate event horizon. But there is something else. Could it be a temporal distortion? Perhaps dimensional? Very interesting. Would you please deploy a resource probe in this specified area? I'm curious of this environment. Okay, that's it. We just wait for that and now bung a resource probe there. Not far away. Okay, come on, guy, I'm getting there. Do it within a few kilometer uh, meters. Get as close as you can. That'll do. And just drop the resource probe. of the resources in the area, should you wish to extract them. As for our research, it seems that nearby objects are covered in exotic particles, possibly spewed from the anomaly. I hate to be a bother, but I have an idea on how to proceed. I like when he says I hate to be a bother. We will need a ship to be flown to a very precise location near the anomaly. If we fit the ship with the right equipment, we may be able to open the tear wider and have a better idea of what is on the other side. This will likely end up in the ship's destruction, so I will help cover the expenses of acquiring a ship for the task. That's it. Look, now we've got 426,000, whereas if you started on the, any of the other scenarios, you would only have 225,000. Now, that's a big difference for the simple reason I do want to get another ship. Uh, and you're looking at maybe, maybe get a simply um, basic one for about 500,000. Um, and we'll have that. 
but what my suggestion would be now is to open up the sectors quickly now the way to do that or some of the sectors to find the wharf now the finding the wharf we need to open up where are we <coughs> 18 billion we need to open up this one up here as well now he's opened up this one for us because there's a station in here which isn't marked up which is a bit weird oh wait a minute yeah it's over here look antimatter cell factory we need three antimatter cells from that but that's a bit later on um but we need to go up there and discover this there is no wars here obviously um oh, that's already marked up that's that's cool oh that makes it even easier um, the reason I want these opened up as quickly as possible is to sell the Vulture and hopefully buy either upgrade the guns on this ship or buy another one if we can um, let's see if, if it's possible oh look yes we're lucky now if we had the money we can buy the ship because they've, they've got no waiting they've got resources to build ships which sometimes is unusual you don't find that in every save but it can start off when you can't buy anything that is a possibility and it is not a bug you have to get the, the resources to that station that it requires people were saying that's a bug it is not the bug is sometimes when the station or the wharf has chock-a-block ship builds and full of um, stock and can't build anymore because it's uh, got too big a queue sometimes they do stagnate like that but that's the bug not the fact that it can't build you a ship so yeah that's uh, the easiest way the quickest way to do this is to find it is to make a marker to it where are we start guidance and it will show us all the gates to go to to get there so let's do it this video is probably going to be about an hour long I would think I don't want to go much longer than that because it might, my renders get mucked up after about an hour for some reason <clears throat> longer than an hour and ten minutes on the recording sometimes the recordings get corrupted for some reason I haven't worked out what's causing the problem but let's get there quick I'm going to record the process I mean some people say oh I'll see you when I get there <clears throat> but something might happen on the way so I just carry on recording <laughs> wait I've been crashing to the gate you want to go through it let's put my track eye on the Kestrel's good all-round view. That is one good thing about the Kestrel. The, the cockpit view is nice, and you got a good round, all-round view on it. But as a ship for the player, it's pretty crap. Go. And we're Entering we're Grand Exchange Four. Should, wait, well, him we don't want to deal with. With this ship, you do not want to deal with the CAC. The CAC are their their kions never miss. And so, unless you can directly get behind him, just with this particular ship, ignore the CAC. Don't go anywhere near them. <clears throat> they will do you mischief. Once we've got our, hopefully, um, upgraded ship or new ship, we will go crystal mining. Crystal mining initially is, well, if you've never done it before, I won't say it's boring. It's, you know, an exploration thing, but um, <clears throat> it can take a couple of hours to get what you want. Or could take you 20 minutes. It's Again, it's RNG. Um, but it's an easy, simple way of getting a good deal of money when you first start so that's what my advice would be once you've upgraded your gun and the ship Xenon I'm going to go full pelt through this gate and then we come, this is a good area to hunt for the crystals in Grand Exchange one uh, where we started and also where we are now well as you can see all those roids but again it's RNG whether you get a decent one so let's just make it through this gate without hitting those roids on the way through that's the good thing about the fighter trips you can have a little bit of control in travel mode wait to get through nice and quick 
It's not a bad speed, actually. Entering before. system. 18 billion. And there's a wharf. And this is an ideal place where to drop a satellite once we get to the wharf. Once we've discovered it, we will sell our vulture and see how much we get. The more money we can start off with, the better. You don't really need, well, you do, you could choose to keep it, but I don't. With so many abandoned ships, we will be spawning soon enough. We will soon get a freighter. No problem with that. I've got the music off at the moment. So um, my voice is okay. I might put it on in a minute because it does get a bit quiet. Wait a minute. Let's have a look at all these. Hold on. Wait. Can't be freebies here yet, surely. Turn Vanguard. No, he's moving. Vulture sent no, now. He's moving. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, it could be lucky. Sent now. Got to try, ain't ya? Tonight War. Cool. We've discovered it. I don't need to land yet. Let's just stop. Going to um, let's take me a track I off for a minute. Um, going to map mode. Let's see. Highlight the vulture. Um, sell ship the vulture. Only three hundred twenty-three thousand. Hmm. Thought we'd get more than that. But we'll sell it. So that gives us a few more pennies. Um, Let's just see, out of interest, how much another ship would be. Let's highlight that, buy ship. <coughs> and if we can actually, because we won't be able to get everything from it. Make five minute oh, they ain't got much crap. Falcon Sentinel Fighter, we don't, mm, it's better than what we've got, because it's got two guns on it, but can we get the guns first? Um, we need Mark II. Let's see. Yeah, we can. We can fit it with Mark II. Uh, these are nice little ships, but I don't particularly like them that much. But um, as a start, it's a better ship than what we've got. And it's 212. I'm just working out the cost. Hold on first. Um, no. That's right. It's too much, isn't it? We're only going to have 700 and we won't have enough. We can give it basic, let's see if we've got enough. Give it the basic stuff first. I'm just checking, checking the price. So uh, I don't think we're going to have enough. We might have to do a bit of crystal mining before we change up. Mm, I think that might be an idea. We could possibly um, buy the gun to upgrade the gun on the uh, Kestrel. Yeah, it's probably going to be too much. I don't want to spend that money on that particular ship. So let's... Still sell the Kestrel. I'm going to sell that. So let's sell ship. 320,000. It should be now gone. That's it. Yeah, we're on this. So let's upgrade the gun and whatever else we can afford on this ship. And then we're going to do some crystal mining. What I'll do, I'll leave that for the next video. That's 38 minutes now. Come on, get out. You can do this many ways. Um, you have to decide for yourselves, but this is what I would do. So, we're lucky that he's actually able to upgrade the ship here which is cool doesn't always happen you can get to every um, wharf and none of them have got the equipment to upgrade docking granted but then if you've got that scenario hey so cool I love him I love the boron. Can't wait till we get their DLC. Again, we've got to. Wait. Land it ourselves for the time being. So we can upgrade the computer, I reckon. We'll have enough money for that and the gun, hopefully. 
Wait, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. There you go. What? Come on, let me go forward. Where is it? Ah, that's why. That's it, I was too high. Now, <laughs> what's going on here? I can't, I can't get on. Oh, I've got to go back, you stupid boy. There we go. Whoa. Yeah, initially it could be a bit confusing. There we go. Now down. There you go. Now Successfully let's docked. Now let's upgrade her. Welcome. Welcome. Um, right, let's get a combat engine in her. That gives us 300. That's cool. Our speed's a lot better. Um, that's 450. See, it's quite expensive to start off with. Um, we need to upgrade this gun, so it's got only got a Mark One. We need the Mark Two. 523, and um, the computers. We need a docking computer, and we need a target extension. 560 is enough. How about the police scanner? Can we? Um, Six, yeah, upgrade it all. Grab some satellites if we can afford it. So let's see if we can get ten. See how the price goes up all of a sudden. Um, eventually, I always use once I've got money as advanced satellites. Um, thrusters, mm, I don't think we'll be able to afford the really. Maybe that one. Yeah, cool. Definitely not that one. Shields. Hmm. Oh, sugar, 7 or 19. Should be. We'll go for the next one down. 1, 5, 5, 2. Hmm. Doesn't give us a lot left, does it? But that'll do, that'll do. We'll, we'll spend all that. We don't need anything else or anything else. Weapons, okay, done that, done that. Don't really need crew at the moment. Okay, that, that, that'll do. Add to shopping list, confirm order. And that gives us 1 minute 30 seconds. <coughs> I like having a look outside and see it being built. <laughs> we ain't got a gun on us yet. We'll be built in a second. Oh, got a bit closer. There we go. The trouble is upgrading this now. I, don't, I won't want to use it as a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> um, but anyway, we'll see. Okay, guys. I mean, this is what I call it now. It's, it's upgraded. And um, we'll go and um, do some crystal mining in the next video. So that's how I would start on fresh if you've never played this game before and so I hope that's been helpful for somebody I know it's basic stuff there and I thank you if you got this far and I will catch you in my next one